I'm gonna do another video. Oh my god! <laughs> um, I'm basically gonna do a video of uh, a couple of hauls I've done in the past, uh, I'd say, month or so. But um, yeah, I'll start with it. Um, I discovered this one website called BeautyCrunch.com, which sells a lot of high-end uh, makeup brands for a decently cheap price. <laughs> And uh, I was so happy when I discovered uh, the site because I've always wanted to try Stila, but um, both Sephora and Stila don't uh, deliver their products to APO addresses, which I currently have because I'm stationed in Germany. Um, my address is an APO box. I can still get stuff from the U.S. and they pay U.S. prices, but for some reason those sites won't send anything to me. But Beauty Crunch does, so it's just the shipping really sucks. It takes forever to get here. But I'll go ahead and show you what I got. I got this uh, kit, I think it was like the Best of Stila Glamour set. I'm not entirely sure about the name, but I'll go ahead and show you what I got in it. Um, it came with an illuminating uh, tinted moisturizer. I think the shade's pretty light on me, so I'm kind of using it as like a highlighter, kind of for, you know bring an extra bang to my face. Um, the next thing, it came with two eyeshadows. It came with Kitten, which is pretty popular in the Stila world, and Barefoot Contista, which is in a palette I'll show you in a bit. It also came with a mascara, a multi-effect mascara in black. So I'm on a search for a good mascara. This one has like the curved wand, kind of looks like that pretty interesting. I've never tried a mascara like that before. And it came with a lip glaze in Fruitcake, which I love the color. I'm um, into uh, mauve dark colors for my lips because, I don't know, I think it looks better on me than lighter colors. And then I got, uh, Primo's leaving me, I got uh, It Gloss in Sweet. It also has that mauve-y uh, dark color, which I enjoy. It has a bit of silver shimmer in it. Um, and then I got two lipsticks. I got one in Laura, which is a very plummy color. I like it. Looks pretty. And then um, I got another lipstick in Rock the Vote Red. I was really skeptical when I bought it because it was uh, really bright in the picture, but when I have it here in person. It doesn't look that bad. It looks pretty pretty dark toned. I haven't tried it yet, but I really wanted to get it because it was Rock the Vote and, you know, with the whole election stuff. It was crazy. All that good stuff. And, uh, I got two Stila palettes. I got one in the four uh, eyeshadow and one with the six, and then I bought eyeshadows in it, including the one that I depotted with the Glamour set, which I'll show you in a bit. So, I basically got these four in, uh, let me see if I can get it right, <laughs> Fever, and you can see me right there, Woo. Uh, Fever, Key, Cassis, and Wisteria. So this is like my purple, pinkish, plumish uh, palette, and then I got the, the sixth one in more neutral colors. Oops. And then I have the brushes here. Maybe if I turn it like that, it's better. There we go. So I got this one. I have to look at the names on the paper here because uh, I haven't labeled it yet. Daffodil is the green one here. Um, Puck Icon. And then this one is uh, Summer uh, Sage and Barefoot Contista, which came with the Glamour set, which I depotted and added to this palette. So that's basically it for the BeautyCrunch.com haul. And then I also uh, ordered some stuff from Mac, from the um, blonde brunette redhead or brunette blonde redhead, however it goes. I basically got everything from the brunette side. Um, the other colors didn't really interest me because I do have a darker skin tone, so I figured, um, especially with the skin finish in brunette, I found that it was uh, a lot easier for me to 
work with than the, the blonde or the redhead. So I'll show you that first. Oh, <laughs> this is uh, the skin finish in Burnett. See? So got that. Um, I also got, I haven't taken anything out of their boxes yet, so bear with me. <laughs> I also got Deep Shade, which is a pretty blue. Make sure it's in the light. Do it like that. Okay. I got a uh, Femme Fee, which I wish I would have gotten during the Neo Sci Fi collection because that packaging looked awesome, but I didn't think about it at the time, so I got this one instead. And I got Henna, which it looks pretty green in the photo that they have on the website, but. I like that it has like a goldish undertone to it. It's really pretty. It has lots of shimmers in it. I like shimmery stuff. And then I got um, the Eye Coal in Smolder and Teddy. So I'm going to just try to get these out of the boxes. This is a uh, Smolder. i put it on my forehead. makes it easier to see. And this one is in Teddy. Okay. And then I got the two uh, lipsticks that came with the brunette collection. This one is uh, What I Do, which is really light. And like I mentioned before, I'm really not into light colors, but I think this would work. I think I can make it work. And I got a Ching Nong, Ching Nong, I think that's what it's called, <laughs> I'm saying it wrong, I'm sorry, which this is more like my type of lipstick, it's really plummy and purplish, like it's, it has like a purple undertone to it, I'm really hoping that it turns out to be a little bit more sheer and less pigmented than what it shows right there, and then I got the two lip glasses that came also with the brunette, brunette collection, I got a soft wave, which I think would work well with the the Ching On Ching Nan, uh, lipstick, because uh, maybe this will um, neutralize the brightness of the purple if it comes up that way. I'm hoping. And then I also got Quick Tease, which may also help with the um, What I Do lipstick. I'll probably add a bit of color and shimmer to it, kind of kind of swap the colors and maybe neutralize it as well. Um, I'm going to try it that way and hope for the best. And then I also got the 226 brush because it was limited edition. I figured I'll pick this one up and then I'll pick up the, uh, the small shader brush another day, but I got this one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I also got uh, a plush glass. Um, in oversexed, which is super dark. I had no idea it was this dark. I really hope that when I apply it, it's a lot more sheer than. Let me see if I can swatch it. So that's what it looks like. Well, that doesn't look so bad, but you know, from the bottle, it looks majorly, majorly dark. But I think I can work this as well. So that's basically my haul. Um, this is kind of fun. I like doing this. I like watching other people's hauls, so I figured I'd make one of my own. So, yeah, that's all I have. Uh, thanks for watching. Talk to y'all later.